Hello everybody, it's Jeffrey here. In this video I thought we'd go over that object that's in the Hubble telescope photo of the Orion Nebula. And I think this might have been covered by somebody else, but I just happened to be going through my Hubble pictures and saw this, and I see lots of things uh, in those photos. But anyway, here it is, pretty well zoomed in. This one looks like it has a star behind it. Um, but like, and these pictures are taken under different wavelengths, so they're going to show different things. Uh, but, but this is the object. Here's a picture of the nebula in a different wavelength, and there's no object there. And where you would be looking for it from this angle, I mean, this uh, view is right here where the hourglass is above this little dark bump here there would be the cigar shaped UFO would be right in here you can tell by the shape of this dark area here some of the photos will actually show this up here uh, and then the shape down here so I'm going to zoom in on that uh, in the next picture and so we're back here I know it's hard to tell after you get to know your way around this nebula it's not so hard but right here you see the little dark bump that sticks up all the craft should be right here and here's the other stuff like I said this is zoomed in uh, here is another same picture in a different wavelength and the object is there um, this is a 40 megabyte picture and I know if I try to zoom in on that it's going to uh, take a, f a few seconds so I'm gonna go ahead and do to my go to my pre zoomed photo here uh, hopefully there it is uh, now this is the one where the object first shows up of course and here it is down here on the right right above the dark spot and the other shapes are there it has a companion object with it that's not in this picture but it's off to the left we'll get to that in a minute but there it is down here I'll go ahead and zoom it just to let you see it again uh, oops oh there's the other object right here I'll go ahead and do, do that one first we'll go ahead and zoom in but I think I have a zoomed in photo already but there it is and I have another uh, picture of this but it's on its side and it shows this object down here looks a little different than the other picture so just because it has a big square window on it uh, doesn't mean that it's uh, oops doggone these buttons uh, doesn't mean that it has a window but it is pretty weird um, F3 instead of the Okay, let's get the handle on this thing here. Okay, five, six, seven, eight. That's as high as I can go. Okay. So there's this thing up here, and it does have a, it, it's a saucer shape. It comes around like this, and it's got bumps on the top and the bottom. Um, this teardrop looking thing in this photo, which is a different wavelength of light is all, shows a pretty dist a distinct teardrop but it's kind of like it's being torn or ripped from, from here and there's another round one here perfectly round sphere and then down here there's I don't see it on this one there's more to it though okay so then back over to this guy I mean this is an object it's somewhere between the camera and the nebula for sure that was in the nebula we sure wouldn't be looking at it it'd be just way I mean unless it was a million miles long maybe uh, this thing I would say is pretty doggone big it lived unless it's really close to earth of course but even if it was we're looking through the Hubble telescope and it's zoomed in on, on the Orion Nebula uh, I would say if it was any closer they would it would have blocked the view so I think that this thing is probably um, quite a few zillion miles away and it's huge planet sized I'm guessing and that's my guess Break down to normal size there now here's another same 
shot but a different wavelength and the object is still there. Just looks darker. Now the other object, we'll come back to the big dark one, but let's do this one first, is there along with the teardrop thing. Let's go up to five, six, seven hundred percent. And here's the object and it you can see there's some kind of a line through it and it looks round on the side. Now maybe it's a dead planet with uh, rings around it for all I know. Because I mean, you know we're, these things are millions and millions of, well billions and trillions of miles away probably. Anyway, here's the here's that teardrop deal. Not quite showing the square window, but there's some kind of a mark on the side, and then here's that round thing, and then here's another one, which shows up on this picture, but not the other one for some reason. So let's get on to this guy, and it's the same, but it just this is dark. It doesn't have that light around it very perplexing because why would it have because I thought it was maybe a, a star was behind it but you can still see the stars here so maybe that was emitting light and then that light didn't just doesn't show up on here that's all oops darn it sorry about the miscalculations here I'm trying to zoom in here this thing is so sensitive there we go. Full zoom, just dark. It is kind of blunt down here. It does look a little pointy on the top like the other did. So I guess we'll just, I guess we'll just run through some of these anomalies here real quick. Um, or whatever they are. Um, I think they're actually uh, objects but uh, you can go to the Hubble website you know and and get all these photos they've got zillions and zillions of these things they just download the highest resolution pictures you can get and then just go over them one by one and zoom in and have a fairly decent computer I don't know a smartphone might work I'd be surprised some of those smartphones are show pretty good pictures so here it is out out again this was just a dark, that dark hole in the, in the, uh, in the nebula. Okay, there's the object, which I'm beginning to think is maybe that light is illuminating from it somehow. Or just away. And if it was a star, I mean, it could be, it's got the same color, you know, the star behind it. And, um. I don't know why Windows always has to show me that video, I mean that uh, that message, only when I'm doing videos. Just won't leave me alone. Here it is, zoomed way out. And definitely an object there. I don't think it's anywhere near that nebula, but it's pretty probably, you know, who knows. Hubble was looking at it. There's that smaller object again. Some really areas where there's just these weird green things. I didn't really get all of that in the picture though, up there to the right. Um, it's just like the whole, it's not just a, you know, that the, the light is showing green. It looks like something really is green there. Like some huge plasma or uh, something. Anyway, I thought this was interesting, the uh, long whatever. Uh, this looks like a star that's blasting through the universe. It's got this like a, a bow shock on it here, and then it does, like it shoots out some kind of a stream, probably maybe x-rays or something, who knows. Here it is from a distance, you can see right here, and uh, it does look like it has a trail, and it does 
just have something in front of it. I don't know what. Here's one with a curved down in the lower right, a curved something. I don't know if something just went this way and that then it looked like it changed direction but down here or this is just the way the dust is forming. strange objects. This one here has a trail behind it almost looks like. I don't know what this is up here. It could be that it is oblong but then you know we're just a strange shape. These objects being dark like that doesn't make any sense because everything should show up in here. And then we have these little dark spots. Oh here's that teardrop shape at the window again. Only this time it really does look like a window. Uh, there it is from a distance. I can zoom in a little bit here. That uh, The red dot with the white thing in the middle is the companion object for the cigar shaped UFO. Here's a zoom in on the big picture again with where the object is not there. Zoom in on that too, and it just isn't there. I don't see any sign of it at all. And I'm pretty sure these pictures were all taken about the same time. And they're time lapse too, by the way. So if the th if it was moving, it should have left a streak. Here's this other one. Um, probably should go ahead and zoom in on her a little here and just show you how strange this is. Uh, well, you can see what it is. I don't need to point it out. But this dark uh, this dark spot up here is the other object that keeps popping up and here's that teardrop thing. Only here it doesn't look as smooth. But it definitely has something going on here and there's a straight edge on it nevertheless but that could be just the pixelation. Meanwhile, back on Earth, I almost feel like I should apologize, but uh, the reason I haven't had any UFO videos is because there hasn't been any. Uh, they've done so much chem clouding, plus the bad weather, and it's not like I can just go out there and make them come, you know, they just happen. And the best ones I don't have pictures of anyway, but anyway, that's why I haven't done any, because I hadn't seen any. Uh, not anything that's YouTube worthy anyway. Uh, but here's here's why I can't see half the, st the stuff at night is because of all the uh, chem clouding but they do it at night too. Now when you look up at the moon this is what you see. Nice little chem halo there and you'll see the same exact thing if you Put on some UV glasses and look near the sun during the daytime. You'll see that same halo, and it's always like this dark in the middle with the um, colors right on that outside edge. It's almost a signature. It's not water vapor. Water leaves a completely different uh, halo. It's more fuzzy. It's closer to the moon. This is a chemical halo here. Hate to tell you. Here it is in a different uh, light uh, filter. Another filter. Real nice, huh? You can see the stars. I mean, this is what I'm seeing with my eyes. This is not just something the camera's coming up with here. Now, see this wave coming through the middle here? They're chem clouding at night. See so it going through this. I'll go back. You can see it move a little bit. I don't have the whole sequence here, but it moved. There it is over there now. Moved a little more. Now this is a good one here. This will show the show it going right through. Oops, darn it. So not only do I have to look at this crap in the daytime, it's at nighttime too. Now th th it's so 
thick. This isn't, you can't really see this. The moon is out, and by eye, you can hardly see this, but it shows up on the camera pretty good. This is that textured sky that you see during the day. If you look hard enough, even though it looks clear and blue, if you look at it hard enough, you will see this. It's really high, it's faint, you can't see it very well, but um, it's textured. All I can say is it's, the, you know, the sky has a textured look, very, very faint. But at night you can kind of see it, and this, the, the settings here and the optics were just set up, and it was just showing off this stuff really nice. Because um, if there was no moon, you wouldn't even see that at all. No way. And it would look like a clear night. But you can't see any stars hardly because of this this haze that's just there. It's permanent. Look at that. Isn't that disgusting? It's like living in a dirty cage. This whole planet is turned into a dirty cage. It's just ridiculous. I don't know what this... gone wrong. There's a funny streak up here. I don't know what the I don't know what that is. That wasn't there a minute ago, huh? Up here at the top a little line. Who knows? I'll zoom in out. It's still there. So yeah, that's a clear night by the way. Technically not a cloud in sight. Okay, well that pretty much concludes my uh, investigation on the cigar-shaped UFO object caught on the Hubble telescope camera. And, of course, my uh, chem cloud piece. So, have a great day, and uh, hopefully I'll be uh, seeing you real soon here with more UFOs. Have a great year.